Hey guys, what's up? It's Helene. Um, today I am going to get ready. I am meeting my twin sister to get her bridesmaid's dress for my wedding, which I'm so excited about. I can't wait. Um, one of my bridesmaids have already has already gotten her dress, my future sister-in-law. Um, so if I do say sister-in-law, that's who I mean. It's just, I'm, I already basically call her my sister. I mean, I've known her for quite a few years now. And um, I'll, I guess I'll um, address the other elephant in the room. I did get glasses. Um, I don't need them to see necessarily. Um, it's, oops, I have mascara under my eye. Um, I don't necessarily need them to see, uh, specifically I do have 20-20 vision, but, um, I did have eye surgery in December, necessarily work, so this is more for when I'm on my phone, like texting or doing research and stuff, or if I'm on my iPad or when I'm on my computer or reading, so it's more for like close-up stuff, even though I do have 20-20 vision, it's, it's kind of weird. But I did get them, so I figured I would start this video off with that because I was on my iPad not too long ago in the next couple of days. So, anyways, now that this intro is ridiculously long, let's get on to the video. Okay, so first off, I'm going to start with a primer. Obviously, my skin has been um, washed. It's been moisturized and all that. So I'm going to use my normal Hangover Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. Um, it's very hydrating for my dry skin, so I'm just going to do one pump and put it all over my face. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit for a second and I'm going to prime my eyes and we're going to zoom you in and do my eyes first. Okay, so to prime my eyelids I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape in the color in the shade light. Now I'm just going to use any um, fluffy brush to set my eyes. I'm just going to just randomly took a color or randomly took a brush. I'm going to use this um, from the um, Physician's Formula Bronze Booster. I'm just going to use that lighting light color since that's right next to me. Since I do want to set it pretty quickly. And I'm just using my Morphe 513 brush to... Before I do that, I'm going to use my um, Plump It Lip Plumper. I like to do this um, also while I'm doing my makeup so they can plump up and get ready for me to do lipstick. Or lip gloss. Okay. The first um, brush I'm going to do, or the first brush I'm going to take is the Morphe R37 brush. Um... And I'm going to dip it in the shades, or dip it in the shade, um, Silk Cream, which is a very neutral tone, um, kind of warm brown. And I'm going to throw that in the crease. I'm going to try... That technique that Jacqueline talked about with the Morphe E47. So this is from the Elite Collection. I'm going to put some um, setting, uh, some loose powder and give myself that um, cat eye that I want. So here I have my lovely, hopefully going to act like the tape. We will see just because it is a new technique for me. Okay. Anywho's. So let's get back to the makeup look. I'm going to take the next shade, MFEO, on a M518. Oops. I'm going to take the Morphe M433 brush. Um, it's a, it's a little bit more flat, but I can do, be more precise in the crease and be more, um, kind of like cut out, cut it out, but not really. Um, I think I'm going to take the shade Jada. It is a, 
um, teal color, I'm going to take that and put that in the crease, but a little lower than the shades that I already have. Okay, now I'm actually going to take a Sephora um, number 15, the Pro Small Shadow Brush, and put um, Beam all over the lid, which is the second cream shade in the palette. Okay, now I'm going to take Pool Party and put that on the center of the lid. Before I continue, I am... Anyways, before I continue, I am going to, um, like, finishing my eyes. So far, this is what the look looks like. Um, I think it's a really cool blue eye look. But, um, I'm going to use the Wonder One Gel Co-Liner by Ciate in the color black. Um, I am going to, uh, put a thin line, um, of liner, of black liner, the... Uh, NYX matte liner in the shade black. Um, I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to so let that liner dry before I do lashes and uh, mascara. Brush I'm going to use, I'm going to use the Morphe M439. It's a nice flat top kabuki. I just don't know what foundation. Um, I think I'm going to do the Clinique Beyond Perfecting um, two-in-one foundation and concealer, um, in the color linen. Um, okay. So I'm just going to tap that out and I'll be right back. So now, since I am doing more of a precise area. Uh, I'm going to use a different brush. I'm going to use the Morphe E8. Okay, well that was pretty uh, effortless. I think it looks really good. Cool. And next I'm going to set my face. And especially set my concealer first. The Cover FX uh, Illuminating Setting Powder in the color Light. I'm going to use the Morphe um, M438 because it'll be perfect. It'll get right into my inner corner. Let's some pour some of this into my cap. Then I'm just going to take the little bit that's left here and take the Morphe E41 brush. It's a big powder brush, which we all know I was super excited about getting in the mail. So just quickly. Use the rest of it and dust it on my face. My NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color black. Yeah. And now we're going to do the lower lash line. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to start off with um, the transition shade um, M-E-F-O on a little small pencil brush right here. Okay, next I'm going to take the M432 um, brush and pack the royal blue color twerk extremely tight to my lower lash line. Okay. 
See, I think it brought really good definition to my eyes. So, and my camera's tilted once again. Sorry, guys. Okay, now I'm going to blend that out with another small little brush. I'm going to use the e, Morphe E18 brush and um, smudge out, smudge it out with um, Jada with an itty bitty bit, just an eensy bit on the tip. Just to smoke out that lash line just a little bit. I'm gonna use the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray and set my face and kind of press everything in. Okay, so I just put on my eyelashes. I have not done mascara yet. I'm gonna let these lashes dry first and I'm gonna continue the rest of my face. Um, for those who wanna know, these are Allure uh, lashes called Exaggerate, and um, I've never used these before, but I love them because they're very wispy, but super long and fluttery and, flirt and flirtatious, and I like it because you can still see the eyeshadow behind my um, lashes, but it also makes them pop. It makes them look, you know, more feminine and pretty. Okay. So I've been really digging this um, Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer, um, Park Avenue Princess. I have been obsessed. Ever since I got this in my BoxyCharm last month, I have been obsessed with this. So I'm going to use this again today. I'm going to use the R2, uh, Morphe R2 uh, from the Rose Gold Collection. I'm going to use that for my bronzer brush. Use the Morphe M530 brush and use the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12-hour um, blush in this pretty mauve tone 510 brush. The Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Collection face palette. And I'm going to dip into champagne pop. I'm just going to do a little bit again because my eyes are very overpowering. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my M510 brush and go to town. Now for mascara, I think my lashes have dried. I'm going to use the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal in the color Black is Black. And last but not least, let's do the lip color. The Urban Decay color in the color Rush. It's a pretty mauve color. I think it's too pinky, so I'm going to put something else. Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit in the color Nudie Patootie. Just on the center of my lips. Okay. And one more thing. We are going to spray this down again. And this, guys, is the final look. I added some champagne pop to my inner corner and my brow highlight to make sure it all matches. But um, this is what the final look looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me and me kind of breaking it down what I'm doing. Um, I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. See ya.